Bradley Cohen. Go. But when I was a kid, people called me by lots of names. My brother Jeff called me Dr. Bobo. My mom called me <laughs> Honey. And the kids at school, well, they called me everything from spaz to freak. I didn't have many friends, actually, but I did have a constant companion. I can barely remember a time it wasn't there. Now, sometimes it wasn't a problem for me. Other times, it was. One thing my constant companion and I agreed on was that we hated school. I couldn't wait till I got out. No more homework, no more books, no more teachers' dirty looks. My companion first showed up when I was six, but it was years before it had a name. Now, the shrink said I was just hyper. I made funny noises and acted weird to draw attention to myself. It was just a phase. I'd grow out of it and be normal. What, what? What, what? Like everybody else. Go, 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 go. Through it all, my constant companion stuck with me. Go. Now, to my friends, I'm just regular old Brad. The guy who likes baseball and who loves cheesy 80s music, <laughs> which they think is much weirder than the noises I make. over the limit. St. Louis, huh? You a tourist? Uh, no, I live in Atlanta now. I just moved here. I guess I was a little distracted. Oh. Oh. Yep. Son, you been drinking? No. <laughs> no, sir. I, uh, I have Tourette syndrome. Take it easy, son. I'm going to need you to sign this down. So what kind of job are you looking for? Teaching. Oh. Going to be a teacher. I get that look a lot, but I never let it get to me. I see you have a BA from Bradley oh. University. That's uh, in Illinois, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Oh. Graduated cum laude. High recommendations. Your student teaching evals were outstanding. <laughs> Excellent. What made you decide to go into teaching? Uh, it's all I ever wanted to do. I feel like I was born to teach. Why choose Atlanta? I, I mean, Missouri is your home. Yeah, no, I'm, uh, I'm thinking of becoming a Braves fan. So, uh, <laughs> Georgia honors my Illinois teaching certificate. Plus, I fell in love with Atlanta when I worked down here as a camp counselor. I live here now. So does my dad and uh, my stepmom. Well, it's nice to have family <laughs> here to give you support. <laughs> Maybe we should talk about the elephant. Elephant? In the room, my Tourette's. No, the Americans with Disabilities Act doesn't allow me to ask. I know, but I would like to tell you, just like I tell the kids in my classes. <laughs> See, I explained to them that it's a brain thing that causes me to make these strange noises. They're like sneezes, irrepressible when you have to. Bop, bop. You have to. How do they react? Once they understand, they're fine with it. 
It's never caused a problem in the classroom. Drop. All I want is a chance. Just get me the interviews and let me prove to them that I can do the job. Drop. Walk. Drop. The Americans with Disabilities Act says I'm entitled to a chance. Run. They had to go. Uh, you know, who wants to teach you that barks like a dog? You should try another line of work. Are you serious? Didn't they look at your resume? Ah, uh, you're kidding. Yeah. They're setting up some interviews with some principals. Fantastic. <laughs> when? Uh, I don't know. I got to wait for the calls. Whoa. Get changed. We got to go celebrate. Haven't you got a date? Yeah, I'll see if she's got a friend. It's about time you start meeting some chicks. I can't focus on dating right now. Has anybody ever told you that you're obsessive? Uh, only every shrink I ever saw. Well, have fun focusing. Oh, uh, your dad called again. Maybe you should call him back. Go, go. You know? All right, I'll see you later. Returning dad's call? <laughs> I'd have to prepare for that. See, mom and dad had divorced when I was a little kid, and my relationship with dad had always been, uh, let's just say, complicated. I mean, I wore out his patience like nails on a chalkboard. It didn't help that my brother Jeff was also a little hyper. Dad said he's waiting to get back to his home in Atlanta. He's waiting to say goodbye. Bye. You're gonna make him mad. Shut up. Come on, I'll race ya. Gets the green dragon, you gotta be kidding. Second cheer. Brad, come here. Come on, honey. Focus, will you? Come here. Come here. Stand here. Listen. Listen up. Focus, please. All right? I need you guys to do me a favor. I want you both to make life a little easier for Stop. your mom, OK? You are driving her nuts. Stop. Guys, listen. Hey, hey, stop it. Brad. Help her out around the house, but most of all, let us stop the obnoxious behavior, OK? Stop. Hey, listen. I mean it. OK? Quit the clowning. Your brother may think it's funny, but I don't. I can't help it. Yes, you can. There's nothing wrong with you. A little mm -hmm. self-control wouldn't fix. Mm -hmm. Now, stop it. Norman? Yeah? They're not going to hold that plane for you. OK. All right. OK, give me a hug. Ah. See you, Dad. Bye-bye, J-Man. I love you, Dad. Love you, too, kiddo. And listen up. We'll stay at my house next time, OK? I get tickets to a Braves game. Hey. And Brad, remember what we talked about. Self-control, all right? Need any help with anything? Well, else? now that you mention it. It's a new doctor. Let's just listen to what he has to say. What? Well, no one will have to say. Do you feel any anger toward your mother because of the divorce? Well, no, no. Do you resent your father because he doesn't live with you anymore? Well, no. Do you blame yourself for the divorce, Brad? It happened when I was a little kid, but well, I don't even remember. Mrs. Cohen, Brad has some serious denial issues regarding well, the well, divorce. What he needs at home are some clear boundaries. He needs what? to understand what? that this behavior is totally unacceptable. Yeah. And that, yeah. Mrs. Cohen, is your job. The hardest part was knowing how tough I made things for Mom. I tried as best as I could for her. Make sure he keeps taking his medication, yeah? And for Dad, I played sports. On the ball field, I fit right in. I mean, everybody makes funny noises and has strange takes at a baseball game. Thank you very much.
Hey, guys. I got something pretty exciting to tell you. Honey, don't eat so fast. You're going to get the hiccups. He's always got the hiccup. You're a hiccup. Just jump. Jump. Listen, hey, would you just relax? Jump. Mom says you're not taking your meds. How jump. are you jump. ever... How are you ever going to calm down if you don't do what the doctor jump. tells you to do? Pills just make it worse. Oh, I see. So you're a doctor now, too, huh? He's Dr. Bobo. Shut up. Ow. All right, guys, listen, guys. I have a very important announcement to make. Guys? Guys! All right, that's it. We're going back to the car. Come on. I'm still hungry. You know what would be nice? Jump. One day! Without you acting up. One! Wait up, Dad. announcement, Dad. I've been seeing somebody. What do you mean, seeing somebody? Her name is Diane, and Go. she... Brad, please, stop doing that. I can't. I mean, nothing's happened yet, but how would you guys feel about having Stepmom? No way. We've already got them all. Well, now you're going to have two. Talk to your mom about it. She's fine with it. She said, I said, Go. stop it! Go. Stop it! See, I couldn't really blame Dad for losing it. My tics drove him nuts because, like my teachers, he had no name for my strange behavior. Except insufferable. Now, somehow, <laughs> I don't know how, I made okay grades. But what would take a normal person an hour took me two or three. I mean, I loved learning, but I hated, hated reading. Trying to concentrate brought out the worst in my constant companion. <laughs> and as difficult as this may be for you, Mrs. Cohen, I assure you the teachers are at their wits' end. I understand. Cheryl, that, would you of course. But I'll this, no, no, this is going to be the last chance. I mean, the very last chance. Brad, look, I sent for your mother because things have just gotten out of control here. Now, she's going to take you home today. You can come back. You can't help. Sorry, what did you say? He said he can't help it. Right. What if he's telling the truth? Hmm? You've got a bright boy, Mrs. Cohen. But making excuses for him... Making excuses is not going to help. Now, he needs to use this time to ask himself... Brad, this come on, let's go. ...question. Let's go. Why am I sabotaging myself? I don't care if they expel me. I hate that school. Well, it's that school or another Jack, school. Jack. I hate all schools. Why are we going here? To find some answers. I can't go in the library. They'll throw me out. Please, Mom. All right, come here. Sit over here. Well, maybe we're just going down the wrong track. Who? All of us. Drop! 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 Get off me! Chihuahua! Chihuahua! Okay, what will he? I know you're busy, Norman. I won't take up much of your time, but I really think that you should hear this. Boys, keep it down. I'm talking to your dad. I want to talk to him. In a minute. Keep it down. Listen, you know, those teachers and that doctor, to them it's all about bad parenting, which of course comes down to me because I'm the only one here. No, I'm not blaming you, Norman. In fact, I'm going to stop blaming myself. I was talking to a friend, and she thinks that the doctors are missing something. I got this stack of medical books from the library, and I've been doing a little bit of research. Stop saying he just needs more discipline, Norman. Nothing I do helps. He is out of control, and I am at the end of my rope. What? Can I talk to Dad? Can you just wait a minute, honey? All right, but give him back to me when you're done. What is it, Jeffrey? Hey, Dad. What? That was a great game. I got two base hits and a walk. Sorry, I caused you so much trouble, Mom. I want you to read something in this book I found. It's a medical book that might explain why you make all those noises. I keep reading. Read. Tourette's syndrome. 
That's that's Brad, isn't it? it the noises and the twitches. I'll still need to do more tests, but uh, you could be right. We may have been headed on the wrong road here. Go, go. Go. I've never actually seen a case of Tourette's before. So at last, my constant companion had a name. Look, this says there's no cure. But that may have changed. This is an old book. That hasn't changed. This is common. I'm very sorry. Yeah, but they're still looking for a cure, right? I mean, they will find one, won't they? They have to. Finally, my dad believed me, but he never believed in me, that I would succeed, that I could teach. Hello, this is Brad. A dog. Um, yes, yes, ma'am, that is, that is my dog. Uh-huh. Uh, OK. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I can be there at 11 a.m. My very first interview. Great, that sounds great. Okay, thank you. I tried not to overreact. I held in my ticks. Yes! Awful, yes! After the first call, I got two more. Three interviews with three principals. Needless to say, my constant companion was more than a little enthusiastic. Well, I see you only have your bachelor's degree. Are you planning to get your master's? Yes, sir. Drop. As soon as I can. Well, we don't require it for entry level. Drop. But if you're serious I'm very about... serious. I want to make teaching my life. Drop. Whoa, whoa. I, uh... <laughs> I make these noises because I have Tourette syndrome. I'd like to tell you about it. It's a neurological disorder where my brain sends mixed signals to my body. It's like a sneeze. It's irrepressible. Weeks and I'll give you a call. Okay. Okay. Thank Great. you very much. Thanks. Take care. Nope. Well, strike one. But like Mom always said, don't ever give up. When I was little, Mom never stopped researching because while there was no cure, there might be ways to live a normal life. Church mom, honey, you're not gonna have to get a Bible lesson. It's just it's a support group. We have to. You need to connect with other people who have Tourette's. Find out Drop. how they live with it. OK? Drop. Let's do it. <laughs> Not going in there. <laughs> I'd never seen anyone with Tourette's before. Drop. Drop. There were eye blinkers and nose twitchers, foot stompers and neck jerkers. Some of them yelped and coughed. Is this what I look like to other people? What? Come on, Bobo. We're here to learn. Let's start learning. The Americans with Disabilities Act gives us the right to do anything or go any place that we want to. <laughs> Try going to a movie or a concert or a restaurant. The law doesn't mean anything when people are yelling at you to shut up. I come home and my parents close the windows and blinds because they don't want the neighbors to see me. No one was even trying to be accepted. The adults were out of work. The kids stayed at home. I knew one thing. What? I didn't want to be like them. It's supposed to be a support group. Where's the support? Just, just hide away from the rest of your life. I'm really so sorry that I brought you there, honey. I, let's just forget this. I don't want to forget this, Mom. These people let Tourette's win. I'm never going to do that. It's difficult to imagine that at the age of 12, I would find a genuine philosophy to live by. But here it was, what? this defining moment. Wow. To always face my adversity head on. 
When I went to my next interview, I decided to be even more upfront. Get the threat stuff out of the way first, and then dazzle them with my approach to teaching. You have been very successful in spite of your threats. I've worked very hard to become the best teacher I can be. Thank you for coming in. I'll let you know. Thanks. So much for being upfront. For my third interview, I decided to avoid discussing my Tourette's at all. Each week, I like to send home a progress report to my students' parents. Well, um, I like to give my students a voice in the learning. Talk, talk. To be hands-on and interactive in the classroom. Drip, well, but also to keep the parents closely involved. Drip, drip. Ron, it was a huge mistake not mentioning my Tourette's. Well, but it was like, you know, I was trying to hide it. That chance. OK? That's the negative. Now, the negative is you got to stop stressing out. Stressing me out. But the positive is that, hey, the others didn't seem to have a problem with it, right? I just, I gotta wait for the call. The positive is you're coming out with me. My new girlfriend, she has a roommate. Will you stop trying to set me up? When I'm ready to date, I will date. Come on, she's heard all about you. She still wants to meet you. Oh, thanks. Real kind. <laughs> Listen, I want to relax, OK? I want to watch the Braves. We all want to watch the Braves. Get changed. Me that you're on a big job hunt. Uh, How's it going? Uh, pretty good. Bro, bro. Except no one's hired me yet. Uh, I guess they're all too busy fighting to get to me. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You do this? Uh, I'm impressed by this. I was not expecting this. So. <laughs> That's amazing. But I'm pretty good. You are. <laughs> so you are really a sports fan? Ah, uh, yes, big time. Okay. Soccer. Okay. Softball. Mm -hmm. Tennis. Yep, I played a lot in college, but uh, not good enough for the pros. I hear that because I wish I was good enough to be him. Who? Him. <laughs> oh, you want to be a mascot? Mm. His name is Homer. Homer. What? <laughs> and it's a lifelong ambition. OK, mm -hmm. all right. Don't look now. OK. Don't look now. There's this guy behind us, and I don't know what his problem is. Yeah. He's staring. Ah. I actually get that look a lot. It's a uh, look of envy. He's thinking, how can I make cool noises like that guy? <laughs> you have such a great attitude about your... This is Brad. Oh, hey, Dad. Yeah, no, Ron, Ron, Ron told me you called. I just, uh, you know, I've been so busy that... No, I haven't had lunch yet. All right, that sounds great. Where do you want to meet? Lunch at Dad's work. He wouldn't have to worry about my noises there. Just let me know if you need any more of those trusses, OK? All right. Hey. hey! Hey, Dad. See so you found your way. Yeah. Let's go have lunch outside my office. Be a little more private. All right. Hey, Ann's wondering when you're going to come by. You guys have been pretty busy with the job, Mike. Any luck? Still interviewing. How's that going? Are they giving you any trouble with your, uh... You can say the word, Dad. Tourette's. Some of them are. Some of them aren't. How's your money holding out? I'm not asking you for money. I know that. You never asked me for anything. No. If you ever do get short, you know you got a job with me. I'm going to teach that. Drop, drop. OK? I can't let anything get in the way of that. OK. I'm just saying there's nothing wrong with keeping drop. your options open in case things don't work out. You know, there are other things besides teaching. Not for me. Dad could never understand my optimism. Like when I graduated to middle school. I was really hopeful things would be different. What's the matter, Brad? Eat alone. Make a fresh start. New school. New friends. Same result. Today we're going to be talking about fractions. Fractions are your friend. Use fractions in everyday life. You just don't realize it. For example, say your mother bakes a pie. She cuts the... Cohen, just go to the principal's office. Not the best way to introduce myself to the principal. I think our school's for, Brad. Drop! Sorry, I keep disrupting the class. You're not answering my question. What's a school for? To educate, isn't it? Drop! To use knowledge to wipe out ignorance. Okay. 
School's orchestra is having a concert this afternoon. You planning on going? No, sir. My ticks will ruin the music. Hmm. I want you to be there. Just keep your seats for a minute, please. Thank you. You enjoy the concert? Great job. Did you hear any noises during the quiet parts? Yeah, so did I. They're pretty annoying, aren't they? The person making those noises is Brad Cohen. Come on up here, Brad. Do you like making noises and upsetting people, Brad? No, sir. Then why do you do it? Well, what? Because I have Tourette's syndrome. Drop. What's that? It's a thing in my brain that causes me to make weird noises. But you could control it if you wanted to, right? No, no, sir. It's a sickness. Hmm. Well, why can't you just get cured? There isn't any cure. I don't like making noises any more than you like hearing that. They're even worse when I get stressed, when you don't accept that I can't stop them. But when I feel accepted, then they're not so bad. What can we do? And I mean everyone in this school. What can we do to help you, Brad? I just want to be treated like everybody else. Good job. Thanks, sir. education, and it was like opening a door to a brand new world. Now someday, some way I knew, Tourette's or no Tourette's, I was going to be a teacher. I had no choice but to prove Tourette's would never get the best of me. If I quit, I'd be agreeing with everyone who had ever told me I was barking up the wrong tree. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hmm. I'm sorry about the air conditioning. Um, it's supposed to already been fixed by now. <laughs> That's not. Well, your um, your resume looks okay, and we do have an opening in the fifth grade. Okay. Uh, but I do have to tell you, this is a tough place to work. <clears throat> um, we've got some really hard cases. Well, I take that as a challenge. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that any kid is hopeless. You know, they all want to learn. You can't ever give up on them. You just <laughs> got to find the right way to teach them. Uh, you got something stuck in your throat. Would you like a drink? <sighs> I have Tourette's syndrome. Well, I I'd like to tell you Tourette's about Tourette's isn't that where you yell out obscenities? That's coprolalia. Uh, it's a rare symptom. A small percentage of people with Tourette's have. I, uh, okay, I don't have Okay, listen, that. they did not tell me that you were going to be handicapped. How do you expect to handle a bunch of wild students with handicapped? Well, well, by educating them. 
by letting them know that it's okay to talk about it. It's okay These to ask questions. These students would laugh at you. Uh, <laughs> not, not, not when I understand it's simply okay, a matter of Okay, I have seen my... teachers with disabilities before <laughs> and never with what well, you got. <clears throat> I just don't see how you could ever teach a class. I can teach. Drop, pop. look at my resume. Look at it. Okay, I was very successful as a student teacher. My threats never posed a problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can teach. Okay, bottom line. <clears throat> I need somebody now for the fifth grade. You want to teach here, you're going to have to refrain from making these noises in class. You know what? Thank you very much for the interview. But don't you want the job? Yes, actually. I want it really bad. Whoa, whoa. But I would never ever work for a man that doesn't care about his students. So I'll take my portfolio and, uh, and take no more of your time. You got a great boss. <sighs> wow. interview I've ever had. All he could see when he looked at me was my Tourette. That's all any of them see. Well, honey, if they can't see what a great teacher you would be, that is their failure, not yours. Well, it sure seems like my failure. Well, if you say so. You know what? Why don't you just throw in the towel and come home, huh? I'll buy you a ticket. I'm not saying that. Really? It sounds like that's what you're saying. It sounds like you're letting Tourette's win. <clears throat> I am not letting Tourette's win. Really? Yes, really. Look, I'm never gonna give up. I just... I have to find the right school. You will, Bobo. You will. So I decided it wasn't Tourette's. I just hadn't found the right school yet. I'd keep parking, and I wasn't quitting until I found yeah, that what? principal. I made a map of every school where I hadn't interviewed. principal wasn't in, I'd give my resume to a secretary or a janitor and ask them to drop it off when the principal returned. I didn't care. I needed a job. I wasn't going to stop until I had one. You'll be starting at the bottom, but that's no big deal. That's where I started. And you're working seven to four. I told you this was only part time. I need to keep my mornings open for interviews. I thought that school had started already. No, not all. Well, we'll see what happens. Here are your tools of the trade, at least for the time being. Like I said, at the bottom. But every job is important here, and who knows, maybe you end up liking it. And if you put your time in, Did you know, you... you hear what I just said? I'm only working here until I get a teaching job. All that stuff has to go in the dumpster. The hiring season was ending. My interviews had dried up. School had started. I was running out of time and money and hope. Diane. I gave up on you ever coming to me, so I just came to you. You busy? It was my stepmom, Diane, trying to build bridges with bagels. Well, your dad built his business with his own two hands. You can't blame him for wanting you to be a part of it. He's just being a dad. He wants you in his life. So how do you like Atlanta? You meet any nice girls? <sighs> I'm just saying all the right things, huh? Let me get you a refill. Brad. Brad. Your dad loves you. Ah! So much. Ah! He just doesn't want to see you get hurt. 
The only thing that hurts is the fact that he has never accepted who I am. See, he's got this idea of a perfect son who is normal and does normal things. Well, I'm never going to be normal. Well, maybe that's not his idea, Brad. Maybe that's yours. You're right. You are not normal. You have a gift to teach. And it's not in spite of your Tourette's. It's because of it. That's a sheepdog. Uh-huh. Yep, Brad, Brad Cohen. 10 o'clock is, is perfect for me. Absolutely. OK, great. Must be Brad Cohen. Ah. Ah. Come on, be on the principal around here. Yes, Hillary Strake, assistant principal. Hi. Come on in the office, Brad. We heard you coming all the way from the parking lot. <laughs> here you've been making the rounds. Uh, Twenty-five schools so far. Da, da. And uh, here's here's my resume. Oh, here. Oh, uh, we can look at that in a minute, Brad. Just come on in and tell us why you want to be a teacher. Okay. Well, it's uh. Oh. <laughs> It's, it's all I ever wanted to be, ever since I was in school. You must have had some pretty inspiring teachers. Uh, well, I had an inspiring principal, Mr. Meyer. But my teachers, they really only inspired me to be the kind of teachers that they never were. What kind of teacher is that? One who makes it possible for a kid to learn, even if he's different. In a way, the, the best teacher I ever had was my Tourette's. You, you don't have to talk about No, it's OK. I make a point of being open about it. It's uh, never off limits to my students. They can ask me anything they want about it at any time. But you must get some pretty interesting questions. Oh, yeah. Sometimes <laughs> it gets really personal. I hope this question isn't too personal, Brad. Do you make those noises in your sleep? I don't know. I'm asleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no I, I don't tick in my sleep. When I'm relaxed, the noises give me a little bit of a break. Like just now. OK, Brad. I want to hear more about your teaching philosophy. Yeah, I'd love to tell you about my teaching philosophy. We talked for nearly two hours. It was the best interview I'd ever had. Well, Brad, it was a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, you too. You too. We still got a whoa, few whoa, more teachers whoa. to interview, but we'll let you know when we've made a decision. OK, great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Still, my constant companion, as always, warned me not to get my hopes up. But hope is a hard habit to break. called one last time and asked to come in and meet with the second grade staff. Oh, so you student taught second grade. Oh, I love second grade. The kids are still so open-minded. They're open to everything. <laughs> yes, but you do manage to maintain a little discipline, right? While they're being so open? I do let them know what the boundaries are, yes. So Brad, what do you think is the most important thing you have to teach? Yeah, uh, well, Besides the importance of reading and the value of math, that it's okay to be yourself. It's okay to color outside the lines if that's who you are. So, uh, 
It's okay to ignore the boundaries? No, and I, I didn't... Die. I'm sorry, but how can you expect kids to learn when you're doing that all the time? Oh, come on, Brenda. I... No, 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 it's okay. It's a valid question, and I want to answer it. Before they know me, kids sometimes do think I'm just weird or even scary. But once I educate them about my Tourette's, and they can see that Mr. Cohen is a real person who just happens to make funny noises, well, then they accept me as a good teacher. Just like they accept all of you. Well, maybe we should all try to be more like second graders. Does anyone have any other question for Mr. Cohen? Brad, thanks for coming in. The school will be in touch with you, and so just be patient. It's hard to be patient when you feel as though you've blown your last chance. And patience was never my constant companion's strong suit. I'm guessing you never heard from that school. No, not yet. They're still interviewing. What? What? I'm not worried. Huh. Okay. What's that supposed to mean? I just said okay. <laughs> I know what you mean. You don't think anybody would hire me if they had a choice. Are you a mind reader now? You know what, Dad? This is going to be my last day here. Well, why don't you wait and see if you got the job first? I'm going to get the job, Dad. I just have to stay focused. Why can't you stay focused and realistic at the same time? What's wrong with that? There I was, waiting for the phone ring again. I tried to convince myself something good would happen. Oh. My kid brother. Not exactly what I had in mind. Oh. <laughs> How you doing, Bobo? Jeff, what, what are you doing here? Why didn't you tell me you were coming? You know you're in your boxers, right? Did uh, mom send you to check up on me? Why, you need checking up on? No, but... <laughs> Where I put my stuff? That's great. You get the couch. Whoa, nice clubs. Are these new? Uh, they're dad's. You let me borrow them. Thought maybe you and I could uh, play a little golf. You got us a tea time at his club. So what do you think? Three iron from here, little bro? Hey, by the way, thanks for the round. Thank dad. Oh, wait. I forgot you guys aren't speaking. <sighs> I don't want to talk about dad right now. You're just saying that to rattle me because you know I'm going to beat you. I'm serious, Brad. You, you and dad got to start getting along. We get along just fine, as long as we keep it long distance. Is that why you moved down here, to keep it long distance? I mean, it's not like you have anything to prove to him, right? What are you now, Jeff, a shrink? Dr. Jeff, huh? What? What? I'm sorry, sir. I'm going to have to ask you to stop making those noises. Look, pal, he's not doing it. No, 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 I can handle guy. Jeff, I got it. Look, it's just not fair to the other golfers. No, I understand. Um, I can't help making these noises. Because I have Tourette syndrome. It's a neurological disorder. I'd like to tell you about it. You're going to have to leave uh, the course. I got to think of the other members. Hey, Joe, leave the guy alone. He's fine. Hey, man, we're twosome, and our buddies don't appear to be showing. Would you like to join us? If you don't leave, I'm going to have to call security. Okay, okay. Um, okay. Thanks, guys. Maybe next year, all right? Jeff, come on. Come on, buddy. Thanks. Jeff did give me a break from my worries. And right after he left, I got a call from the school. The principal wanted to see me in his office. Just like old times. Noisy, huh? And yet somehow the kids manage, don't they? Yes, they do. They do. Hillary and I discussed you with the teachers. Yeah. And we talked about how proud we are of teaching our kids to never let anything hold them back in life. And Hillary said if we're gonna talk the talk, we need to walk the walk. She's waiting to show you your classroom. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Second grade is overcrowded, so we've had to create a new class. Your kids are being taken out of other rooms, so some of them might be a little confused. They've already been in school for three weeks. There's your student roster. Fun starts Monday, Brad. Let me know if there's anything you need. I need everything. I looked down at that roster like I was announcing the starting lineup for an all-star baseball game. Hillary, this is, uh, thank you. Hey, we thought you might need these. 
Hey, everybody, bring them in. Just put them down anywhere. We'll get them arranged. Here, let me help you with that. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to well Mountain View. Yeah, Mom, it's phenomenal, but, you know, it's taken me so long to get here, I still have to remind myself that I'm just at the beginning. Honey, that is... That is wonderful news. That's wonderful. Yeah, yes, Mom, it is absolutely wonderful, but, you know, they've only given me a contract for a year, okay? I still have to prove to them that they've made the right choice. Honey, let's just take a moment to enjoy this. Oh, my gosh, oh, my... Did you call your father? He is going to be so proud of you. I will, Mom. But, you know, right now, I literally have about two weeks of preparation to do in about two days. And, uh, you know, now that I have the job, i got to really seriously start working on getting my master's degree. Okay, one thing at a time, all right? Listen, are there any cute teachers at that school? Mom! Well, I want you to be happy. Okay, all right, yes. Don't worry, I'm working on that, too. i got to go. Goodbye. You must be Brad. You must be Nancy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brad. I know. Right, of course. I guess I'm a little nervous. Please. This is my first time uh, computer dating, so. Oh, yeah. Me too. My mom thinks it's dangerous. Well, yeah. I mean, you never know what kind of weirdo you might meet. But you look pretty normal, so. <laughs> Good, I'm glad. Yeah. Actually, you look much better than normal. Thank you. So, uh, I guess we're just supposed to tell each other our life stories, or? Um, okay, do, do you think oh. I, Do you think I could get a, get a cup of coffee first? A cup of coffee? Yeah. Right. Yeah, <laughs> of course, coming up. Thanks. Uh, do you want, like, a um, muffin? <sighs> I'm on a diet. But I would love a muffin. is driving me absolutely crazy. She never makes her bed. She's got clothes everywhere. She's like always blasting her music. <laughs> night and day, but of course, whenever I want to listen to my music, she's all like, I need to keep it down. So what kind of music do you listen to? Well, yeah. um, mostly oldies stuff, uh -huh. especially Sting. I love Sting. <laughs> uh, Madonna, Bon Jovi, you know. Millie Vanilli? Else. I love Millie Vanilli. Really? Wait, you too? We've got to be the only two people on Earth drop, drop, that love Millie Vanilli. You do not. Yeah. <laughs> well, I had a really nice time. Thank you. I shouldn't have that muffin, but... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I really enjoyed meeting you. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay, well, thanks again, Brad. <laughs> ah! <Yeah. laughs> no, no!
Did your teachers warn you that Mr. Cohen makes funny noises? Yes! She said you have tor tor Tourette syndrome. Okay, anything you want to know about it, I want you to ask. Yes? Is it catching? No, absolutely not. You have to be born with it, like I was. Mm hmm Does it hurt? Well, sometimes, like when my neck jerks, but the noises do not hurt at all. These are great questions. Keep them coming. And it's okay to ask me anything about Tourette's. Yes? Can you go to movies? Yes. <laughs> I can go to movies, but sometimes I get kicked out, and that makes me sad. What's the bunny's name? <laughs> what? What? Waffle. Waffle? <laughs> Waffle? <laughs> All right, guys. Drop, drop. Any more questions about Tourette's? Anyone? Are they ever going to make you well, Mr. Cohen? Well, right now, there is no medicine that can cure Tourette's. But it's OK, because I've learned to accept it, and I don't let it run my life. Uh-huh. What can't you do? Like, can you not eat? Oh, <laughs> I can eat. OK, I eat a lot. In fact, I can do anything that anybody else can do, except there is one thing that Mr. Cohen can never do. What? No, I can't. No, I just can't. Yeah, tell no. us. Tell us. Tell us. Yeah, tell us. Mr. Cohen can never play hide and go seek. <laughs> Why can't you play hide and seek? Because they hear him, stupid. <laughs> well, that's the right answer, but it's the wrong words because there won't be any name calling in Mr. Cohen's class. Whoa, whoa, excuse me, where are you going? Bathroom. And what's your name? Thomas. Okay, well, Thomas, if you want to leave your seat, you have to ask for permission. Weirdo. Bye, Mr. Cohen. Bye, Caitlin. Bye, Mr. Cohen. Oh, bye, Heather. Ba, ba. I'll see you tomorrow. Ba, ba, ba. I really like the class, Mr. Cohen. Oh, well, thank you, Amanda. How you doing, Mr. Wright? I'm behind. Full ride. Stop. Full ride. Give me a go. Okay, take your toddlers. Okay, Eli, awesome. Thomas, which one of you guys thinks that you can help me, huh? I can't, I can't. All right, all right, right, here's the deal. I need to get this ball and put it back in that bin. Why don't you guys shoot for it? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Woo, all right, Eli, you win today. Hey, Boom. Oh, man. It's okay, Thomas, you can help him. Sorry I stuck you with Thomas, but he was making my class impossible. He's got a whole alphabet of problems. ADD, ADHD, OCD. If you want my advice, you'll pass him on to special ed. No. Go, go, go. I can't, uh, I can't do that. Oh, see how you feel after he's trashed a few classes. I'll be all right. I just need to get settled. I can't wait for tomorrow. OK. More noise than my air horn. Sounds like you got a healthy case of Tourette's. <laughs> I was just kidding with you, son. I've got a dispatcher buddy with TS. You ever need any cross country hauling? Just call for Maxine. Hey, um, do you have a card? <laughs> Wasn't being serious, son. Unless you're in the shipping business. No, I teach second grade. Whoa. Here's the card. All right. Maxine gave me a great idea for a geography lesson. Thank you so much, Maxine. You're welcome. Safe trucking. I found myself focusing on teaching all the time. Well, almost. Ducks have Tourette's. Why is that? I don't know. We're uh, birds of a feather. <laughs> so it really doesn't bother you, does it? What? You know what? 
my Tourette's, my noises. Not when I compare them to the noises other guys make. You know, like braggers, loud talkers, and uh, you know, those like egocentric, humor challenged idiots. <laughs> Seriously, no, your noises don't bother me at all. As long as you keep me laughing. Well, don't say that. You know how I get under pressure. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My dad always thought I was going to marry somebody who made me laugh. <laughs> Not that that has anything to do with, with anything. <laughs> Say something. Quack. <laughs> hey, don't laugh. Why, that was a serious quack. <laughs> I got you, though. Mr. Cohen. Hey. My mom said to ask if it's okay. Is what okay, Heather? If I give this to Waffle. You tell your mom that I said that's fine, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Amanda, is everything all right? I want to be in your class, Mr. Cohen. You are in my class, Amanda. No, he made them take me out. See, after school, honey, okay? It's not fair. Is everything okay? I'm Amanda's teacher, Mr. Cohen. Drop me oh, yesterday. No, 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 there's nothing wrong. I just have to do what's right for my daughter. Come on, Amanda. Come on. He's concerned about Amanda's ability to concentrate. He just thought that you'd make it a little harder for her. Can't he just give me a chance? Drop, drop. We've only just started. I pointed that out. And? He said he's sympathetic, but that Amanda needs, as he put it, a normal teacher. Drop. Don't take it to heart, Brad. It, parents are the hardest part of the job. All right, who can tell me the names of the capitals Maxine and her big red truck have passed through? Anybody? <gasps> Hands. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh man, who do I choose? I don't know. Oh, Heather. Atlanta, Nashville, mm, Springfield. That's great because a lot of people think it's Chicago, and uh, this is Springfield, right? That's Indianapolis. Oh, that's right. What am I thinking? This is Springfield. Springfield's over there, Mr. Cohen. Where's it, Eli? Over here? No! Where is Springfield? I don't know. You guys gotta point it out for me. Point it out. Point it out. I, I don't see it still. Ah! <laughs> I see it. Well, well, you're telling me that this is Springfield, right? Yeah! You don't have permission to leave your seat, Thomas. That's right, Mr. Cohen has eyes in the back of his head. Go back and sit down, please. And next time, ask. I need to sharpen my pencil. Now, Thomas. What? Oh. What? Oh. All right, now, where's Maxine and her big red truck oh, going to be on Tuesday? <laughs> be bright and early tomorrow, David. Go! Oh. 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 All right. Hey, remember to walk. I really like your hat, Mr. Cohen. Oh, thank you, Heather. I like your hair. It's just short because of the medicine. Bye. Hey, honey. Hi, Mom. Mm. Um, can you wait right here for just a minute? Sure. OK. Hey, um, I've been meaning to come speak to you about yeah, I think I know. Yeah. Um, we were just reluctant to tell anyone at first. Of course, it was only a matter of time before the chemo became obvious, so. What? Is, uh, is she going to be OK? Um, Heather just loves your class. She can't wait to get to school every day. And um, I'd be grateful if you kept her secret a little longer. I just don't want her to be singled out. Yeah. Thanks. All right, baby girl.
What do you think? What do you think? I already have that one. What? Looks great on you, though. <laughs> hey, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. I'm just focusing on school stuff. Can you focus on me for a minute? Sorry. Hey, 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 try this one on. It'll make you feel better. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Really? Oh, my goodness. This suits you. Mm -hmm. More than you know. I've uh, decided it's time to go for my master's degree. Wow. Wow, does that, does that mean you'll be going away? No, I'd go locally. Well, anyhow, I have to pass the entrance test to graduate school first, so. Oh, wait, isn't that like the SATs? Do you have to take that in a big room with a lot of people? Yeah, they said I could have a room all to myself. Well, Good. Tourette's does have its privileges. Would it bother you if I did go away? Of course it would, you can't. Get out of here. <laughs> Come here, I want to show you something. <laughs> Crazy. Stop, stop. Nerds? Hey, uh, t -t -t -t. Brad Cohen. Brad Cohen. You are, Mr. Cohen? All right, I need you to take this package and I need you to go right in there for me. Oh, I'm supposed to have special accommodations? I don't have any notation of that. I mean, everybody tests on the same conditions today. Okay, yeah, but I called and they said, bah, bah. They said, they said that I could have a uh, space to myself. You know what? I need you to talk to the administrator about that. His office is right over there. I can't make an exception. Okay, but they're not set up that way. They promised, well, and I have the right to special testing accommodations. Listen, I'm sorry about your disability, but there isn't anything that I can do. Well, well, if you want to take the test, you need to go in there look now. Look at me. How could anybody possibly concentrate if I'm in that room? Listen, Stop. I have to start the exam now. Do you need me to call you a doctor? Isn't there anyone you could call for help? What? Brad, calm down. I can't understand you. But they said you could take it alone? Okay, all right, no problem. I'll be right there. Did something happen? What? What? Drop. You can take the test, and you'll have a room to yourself. What did you say to them? Drop. Magic word. Lawsuit. I gotta get to work. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Thanks. Good luck on the test. As it turned out, I needed more than just dad's good luck. I needed time. With the clock and my Tourette's ticking away, I failed to get all the way through the test. Good job, guys. Thomas, I am so proud of you. Thank you, Mr. Trump. Wow. Look at that turkey, Heather. Thank you. So, are you going to have a big Thanksgiving this year? Uh-huh. Mom says all my grandparents are going to come. Well, that sounds special. Except when they cry. They try to hide what? it, but I always see them. What? Can I pet Waffle? You bet you can pet Waffle. Are you going to have a good Thanksgiving, Mr. Cohen? Yes, I am. Me and Waffle are going to take a little trip to see my mom in St. Louis. I know where that is. Uh, yeah? What? What? Well, that is super, Heather. That's exactly where it is. Now, do me a favor, will you? And I'm going to trust you to take good care of my friend Waffle, all right? Sure. And I will be right back. Hi, Amanda. Shouldn't you be in your class? All right, come on. I'll walk you to your room. Why can't I be in your class, Mr. Gowan? Well, uh, your father had to do what was best for you, Amanda. And you know what? You've got a great teacher. OK. See you later, Mr. Cohen. Where did you learn those words, Thomas? You know you're not supposed to leave the classroom without asking? Well, you're gonna clean that up. And then uh, you're on detention, a recess. But you do get an A for spelling. You can't read it if you don't open it, Thomas. I hate reading. <sighs> so do I. You do? Yeah, reading's really hard for me. It's not hard for you. You're a teacher. You want to bet? Let's play a game. 
You be Mr. Cohen trying to read, and I will be Tourette syndrome, okay? Read this page. Once upon a time. What? 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 Keep reading. Upon a time, there was a. That itches. The itch a little bit? All right, keep reading. There was a. Hey, Thomas! All right, that's hard, isn't it? It's hard to concentrate. That's how hard reading is for me. It's not that hard for you, is it? No, it's easy for me, but how can you be a teacher if you hate books? Hate books? I don't hate books. Everything in the world is in books. I just have to work extra hard to get it out. I'm not gonna give up on you, buddy, okay? And I'm not gonna let you give up on yourself. Now keep reading right here. Once upon a time, there was a magi 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 magician. A magician who met a small boy. A small boy who was trying to pull a big sword of a big rock. Weird. Why would a sword be in a rock? Well, I don't know, but if you uh, keep reading, you might just find out. The magician told the small boy that whoever could pull the sword out of the rock would be the true king. Cool. Keep going. What happens next? Hey, what's wrong? <laughs> I'm so nervous. What's there to be nervous about? You're just gonna meet my mom. What? Thank you, that, that, that's helpful. And my aunts and uncles. And anybody I've ever loved in my entire life. Uh, <laughs> Prepare yourself, this is big. That's right, prepare yourself. Well, that's more than he tells me about you. What? What's what I tell you all about, Nancy? Oh, you never tell me the real stuff. Come on, Nancy. Bobo, get the bags, honey. Yes, Bobo, get on that. So are you Great. exhausted? Oh, good, because we have a pedicure appointment in an hour. This is Nancy, Hi. who I was telling you about. And you. Don't wait, Janet. Oh, okay. Here, come with me, Nancy. Hi. Nancy. Oh, One of the first... Oh, Mom's going a little overboard making Nancy feel like family. Is that a possibility, her being family? I don't know. I mean, you know. I know, but I don't, I don't, I don't. Oh, yeah, it's, it's serious. Is she my dad? No, 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 no. Well, what are you waiting for? Hey, back off, will you? Just... That was his favorite fight. Yeah. <laughs> and he ended up falling that. flat, and then he hit his head straight oh. against the curb. <laughs> gave himself a concussion. <laughs> well, you'll excuse me. Nancy's needed in the kitchen. Uh -huh. I'm just going to steal her for one second. You need it in the kitchen. Rescuing me, because I don't need rescuing. Uh, I do. What's going on? How was your pedicure? If you're wondering what your mom and I talked about, we talked about you <laughs> and us. Something wrong? I was just wondering if I told you. I love you. It just, it scares me, right? I never thought about it before. Oh. I never dared to think about it. Oh. Look, Brad. Oh. She understands about your noises. She doesn't care. Well, you know, you make her happy. She told me that. Brad. You make her laugh. Oh. Well, what if one day she stops laughing? Oh. What if one day she gets fed up of living with someone who... Oh. I just, I don't want to hurt her, Mom. Maybe you don't want to get hurt. <laughs> oh. The only thing that can hurt either of you is if you let Tourette's drive her away from you. 
you let it win. Go, go. Heather's mother had called to say Heather was no longer able to attend school. So the class all pitched in to cheer her up. Oh, wow, look at this table. Looks very good. Oh, this looks great over here. Go. The news we'd all been dreading came a few weeks later. What's up, Galen? These are my grandparents, Hi. James and Shirley. What? Yeah. What? Sir, they're about to start the service. You, you go ahead. Mr. Cohen, aren't you coming in? I'm sorry. I thought I could, but I, uh, I think I'd be too disruptive. <clears throat> you made such a huge difference in Heather's life. You were her favorite teacher. Please don't leave without saying goodbye to her. Okay, Thomas, what is your team's word? Weird. Weird. Anybody not on Thomas's team know what that word means? Strange. Creepy. Scary. Very good. Who can use the word weird in a sentence? Oh, oh, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40, the girl on the pigtails, 50, Galen. I like weird movies. Sorry, Mr. Cohen. I know you can't go to them because you get thrown out at the movie theater. Well, that's okay, Galen. Boom, because I can rent movies. Then I also like weird movies. <laughs> so weird is a good word, right? But what if someone comes up to you and they say, uh, hey, yo, yeah, you, I'm talking to you, you're weird. Is it still a good word? No. no. Be with that. Come on, sir. Okay, everyone, stay in your seat. It's Max and Max Mr. Cohen, can we go see them? Okay, but everyone inside voices. Everyone line up by the door and no running. What? Nancy. She reminds me of your mom when we first met. They don't look anything alike. I'm not talking about looks. I'm talking about that spark, you know, the spirit, that uh, je ne sais quoi. How are things at school? Uh, you know, you got more books than bookcases, 
roof leaks, cutbacks. A little worried they might not ask me back next year. But there's plenty of teachers with a lot more experience than me. I'm proud of you regardless. Oh! It doesn't feel that way. Oh! Why do I feel like you're still embarrassed by me? Oh! Oh! And it's okay, Dad, you can admit it. You're not trying to start something. No, no, no. But, you know, we're talking, and uh, it's good, so let's talk. I've always been an embarrassment to you. I have, haven't I? Even when you used to come visit me, you used to squirm when all those eyeballs would click my way. Oh! You've never been able to accept it. You're right. Oh! It is tough being with you sometimes. I hate it when we go to restaurants and people give you those looks. Sometimes I want to just... I just feel so helpless. You know, I've always been a guy who could fix things. Oh! But the one thing I could never fix was the one thing that was hurting you most. It doesn't need fixing. Well, nobody can fix it. I know. I know. But maybe it's my fault. Maybe I gave it to you. Come on, guys, we only got two minutes until the media center closes. Hurry up back there. Stay to the side, guys, stay to the side. What did I tell you? Guys in the back, come on, hurry up. Dad, <laughs> what, what, are you, uh, what are you doing here? Said you needed a bookshelf, didn't you? Your father's built us new bookshelves for the library. Things are a little slow at the office. This way, gentlemen. Oh, and I got you something for your collection. Hard hat for an extremely hard head. Hey, class, that's my dad. Hi, Mr. Noah. Come on. Come on. And, and Hillary didn't say what this was about. No idea. We were at recess, and she said she needs to see you in the classroom. I think it might be about next year. Here he is. Brad, uh, can you come over here a minute, please? Hillary's got an announcement to make. Some of you may have noticed an observer hanging around school the last few weeks. Well, he was here to assess one of our teachers, Mr. Cohen. And I'm here to announce that our very own Brad Cohen has been chosen from amongst all the new educators in the state of Georgia to be Sally May's first year Teacher of the Year. As I looked at my students, I felt like a kid inside because children look at life differently than most adults. They see the world and say, I will. Not, I can't. And so did I. The shirt's too tight, the label's digging into my back. I cut out the label. I don't know what you're so nervous about. <laughs> you're in front of a crowd every day. Well, these aren't second graders. You know what? Oh, man, I wish I was invisible. <laughs> that is something you'll never have to worry about. Hold still, hold still. I love you. The noise you just heard is the Tourette syndrome I've been living with since I was six years old. I'm standing up here today because the love and support of a lot of people put me up here. My family, 
my school family, my students, and all my friends. I owe this award to all of them, but I also owe it to the toughest and, and most dedicated teacher I have ever had, my constant companion, my Tourette's. Now, some of you may think that's pretty weird to thank a disability. And calling it a great teacher, that's really weird. I mean, what could I possibly learn from a disability? <laughs> yes, Galen. You learn to keep going. <laughs> Eli? You learn not to let it stop you. <laughs> yes, Thomas. You learn not to let it win. <laughs> That's right. <sighs> Coping with my Tourette's has taught me the most valuable lesson that anyone could ever learn. And that is to never let anything stop you from chasing your dream. <laughs> from working or playing falling in love? That's right. <sighs> Coping with my Tourette's has taught me the most valuable lesson that... <laughs> yes, Thomas. Can you bring that award to show and tell on Monday?